back to the news at 8. Telecommunications and Postal Services Minister Siabonga Twele has announced the resignation of the South African Post Office board members. Twele made the announcement during an urgent press briefing in Pretoria this afternoon. An intervention team led by Dr. Simo Lushaba has been appointed to restore order in the post office within the next three months, including the three-month-long unprotected strike. Twele has called for the workers to return to work. The workers are still prepared to come back to work. It's the few violent elements which are really causing problems. And we are calling that uh, those who are breaching the law, the law enforcement agencies must implement the law. We are also saying <coughs> uh, to the administration, uh, to the intervention team, <coughs> that uh, the principle of no work, no pay must be enforced because it has not been enforced. And uh, so that those who don't come to work, we can't continue to splash resources to them. For some reaction on the story, we're now joined in the studio by CWU's General Secretary, Aubrey Shabalala. Good evening, Aubrey. Good evening to you. And how are you? Thanks. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now, Aubrey, as a union, you have been calling for the removal of the SA Post Office members. Would you say that this was a victory for you, their, their resignation today? Well, partially it is a victory. We've been calling for the removal of the board. Together, we're still uh, insisting that some of the executive managers must go. Um, However, it must not just be resignation. People must account. Um, there's a lot of the things that are left unattended uh, in misappropriation of funds and so forth. So as the board has failed in its fiduciary duties, they must state exactly why are they resigning. It cannot be just a resignation without a, a, a reason. Now you're mentioning that they should say why they're resigning because when someone resigns, it means that it's coming from them. Would you say that's sort of a cover-up and that they were actually pushed out? What's your opinion on that? Well, it's the pressure that we, we, we've been putting to say that uh, they, they must go because they fail in their fiduciary duties. Uh, as they are resigning, if they were not guilty of the allegations that we're making, they should have at least come out and said that we cannot resign because we have done our job. Now they're just resigning, so they must be uh, account at the end of the day. So we are insisting on that. Uh, it's very important. Now the last time we spoke to you, you had tabled a new wage offer to the SA Post Office. Where do things stand in terms of that right now? Because that was obviously one of the main reasons why workers went on strike in the first place. Yes, uh, the post office failed to, to respond timelessly. It took them seven days to simply tell us that they don't have money. Uh, however, that shows you that uh, there was no sense of agents from the management of, of, of post office to resolve the, the standing uh, labor unrest. And we are further saying to, uh, at this point in time, they've sent the investigation invitation today uh, to say that we must meet them on Monday. We welcome that. But however, what is it that we are meeting on? Uh, we need to resolve the dispute that is on the table. We hear everyone else is calling that workers must go back to work. I think everyone would want to see post office back to work, but we have been consistent as CW to say that we need a permanent solution. And the permanent solution is that we address these key issues first, and so that we can be able to say to the public, and small business enterprises and everyone in general that uh, this issue has been resolved permanently and we can just go ahead with our lives and look into the new f uh, issues. Now, they've come back to you saying that, okay, we don't have money, we can't afford this, this wage offer that you have tabled. Where do you stand as a union now? Are you going to come down on your offer or are you sticking to the offer that you have tabled this time around? Look, it's simply unreasonable. We have dropped from 15%. Uh, th that was a much compromise that we have made. Uh, the, the government must intervene. It cannot tell us that it consistently bailing out ESCOM that have been increasing their salaries at executive level, increasing tariffs on electricity, have been consistently bailing out South African airways. Is it because that serves the interest of the rich and the exclusive people in the uh, South African popula uh, population? or post office serves the imaginary uh, society of our sector of our society, in particular the poor, that's why they are not assisting it. So w we are not buying that uh, from the government. The government must come and intervene and workers must get what they deserve. So we're standing firmly on that point. Now, speaking on what happened today specifically, it seems like the minister um, is, is heeding your call in some way and, and, and taking action. Would you say that this is some sort of a shake-up that will happen in the industry or the sector as a whole? 
I think uh, the minister is taking a, a, a step in the right direction. Uh, we welcome that. We'll work close with him. And uh, we, are, uh, we are saying that it's not only in the South African post office. We have same shenanigans at Telcom. So we are still going to, to forge ahead with that particular battle. And I think it's a correct decision. However, we are not going to re relax on our laurels and say everything has been done. We are going to push very hard as Communication Workers Union on this matter. Now, the minister has given the intervention team three months to get the post office in order. Do you think that's enough time? And another question is, do you even think that they're up for the challenge? Well, we cannot judge them at that particular time. But we think that uh, the one first thing that uh, the, the intervention team must do, must deal with the executive. That's the first point. And once you have dealt with the executive, three months will be a sufficient time. However, if you leave them to continue and work in the South African post office, it will take another 15 years to resolve these challenges. So are you saying that the executive as a whole should be, should be removed and they should get in a whole new team? Absolutely, excluding the ones that have just arrived, like the acting CEO and so forth. But those who've been there, in particular the HR on the payroll side, the people who cannot even account how many staff members are in post office, but they are paying every month. It tells you that there's something uh, uh, very wrong. The people who are developing and forming uh, unions in the HR division, it tells you that there's something very wrong. So we are calling for their removal with immediate effect. Now, as a union, you've called for the removal of the board members. They've been removed. Now, for workers who are confused, should we go back to work or should we continue striking until the money issue is resolved? Because that, that seems to be the core issue ultimately. What should workers be focusing on and what's the next step from here on? We are a trade union of workers. Uh, we go to workers, workers give us a mandate. Uh, currently, we've never called for a strike, but we, uh, because we have uh, that revolutionary obligation to, to serve members, to serve workers, that's why we have supported them. We are going to go to them, and they will be telling us what needs to be done thereafter. We are not going to instruct them like other pseudo unions do, uh, tell workers what to do. That's why they don't resolve problems. So the, the challenge now that we are having is that we are going to meet with post office on Monday, and thereafter go back to workers, and we'll get a clear resolution on that. Aubrey, the year is coming to an end. I mean, so Soon, you know, things will be shutting down. People are going on holiday. Do you think that you as a union and the SA Post Office are going to reach some kind of agreement by the end of the year? And will workers most likely go back to work in the beginning of the year? Children are going to school. I mean, that has to be a huge concern. We are prepared last week, Monday. Uh, we opened our arms. We said, let's talk. We, we've reduced our demands. They never came back to us. So we are still waiting. So it, the, the, entirely the matter is on the uh, South African Post Office hands uh, to resolve it. Thank you so much for your time, Aubrey. It's my pleasure. Thank you.